So I'm mainly going to focus on freshwater security that comes from surface waters, from, from lakes and rivers. And um, I won't touch on groundwater because that has its, its, its own implications and, and, and problems in, in different parts of the world. Freshwater security is important um, in terms of, for example, what we call ecosystem services. So an ecosystem is where you have a, a, a group of microorganisms, plants, animals that live together in, for example, a water body and they interact together with the chemistry and the climate and, and that's the ecosystem. An ecosystem service is the benefit that ecosystem provides humanity uh, for well-being. So, for example, with um, lakes, they'll provide benefits in terms of fish for protein, for food uh, economy. They'll provide uh, water for fresh water for drinking. F uh, lakes also help to clean up water. They help regulate the carbon cycle, they help regulate climate change, etc. If we start to disrupt the ecosystem functioning of lakes and rivers, then we also pose major threats for freshwater security. Um, so an uh, excellent example of that is the RLC, for example. So the RLC was once the fourth largest lake in the world. Uh, it exists in the, the former Soviet Union between uh, Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. Um, but then in the 1950s, um, uh, the governments there thought that they would want to promote further uh, cotton irrigation in the catchment of the RLC. Um, now, the, now the RLC exists and is kind of, it basically it exists in the middle of the desert. So it's very sensitive to changes in precipitation, it's very sensitive to change of evaporation and, and, rivers, and the rivers flowing into it especially. Um, and so the 1950s and 1960s especially, water was diverted from the RLC uh, for the cotton irrigation. And that meant that less water is flowing into the RLC itself because it's all going into the, the cotton plantations. So between 1960 and about 1980, the RLC lost about 90% of its volume. Um, so it shrunk to a really small size. And that meant that all the, the hundreds of species that lived there all died out. The RLC shrunk to such an extent that it caused major health problems with local populations because they lost the fishing industry, basically. So the freshwater security that they had from the fishing industry, which was one of the biggest in the former Soviet Union, just disappeared within a matter of decades. Um, this caused their, their health to become compromised, which meant that they were much more susceptible to disease. Um, and, and so again, we can see that's kind of a, a very extreme example of how human impact on lakes can really affect uh, uh, freshwater security. So the World Economic Forum have recognised that freshwater security is one of the most important concerns going into the future because of uh, population increases around the world. We are making more demands on fresh water for both drinking, but also uh, uh, industry and factories, etc. But one of the problems is that fresh water itself is very unevenly distributed. So in North America, it has over half the world's fresh water, whereas Southeast Asia um, has only about sort of 10% of permanent surface fresh water. But 60% of the world's population live in Southeast Asia. So the, the demands there are, are, are very large and very extreme, and that's why it is of a, a, a great concern. Um, so there have been very, some very nice studies done that have looked at uh, fresh waters around the world, um, and it's estimated that um, at about any one month of the year, about four billion people are exposed to a, a threatened freshwater security. Um, and that's defined by, say, people taking uh, water out of a river that's more than actually flowing through, through the river. And about half a billion people on the, on the planet are exposed to uh, very dangerous levels of freshwater security throughout the year. So we can see how it's, 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 it's an, an extremely uh, important problem. Um, climate change is, is having some impact on, on, on that as well. Um, so and usually you, you might think that we're, there's actually more fresh water in the world today than there was 30 years ago, as the amount, the volume is actually increasing, but is increasing in certain regions of the world which perhaps aren't needing it so much. Um, and so again, that has kind of uh, uh, implications. Um, one of the major 
things we're seeing with freshwater security now and into the future is linked to uh, biodiversity. So freshwater covers about 3% of the surface of, of, of the, the, the land surface um, of, of, of the planet. Um, yet freshwaters contain 6% of the world's biodiversity. They contain over a third of the world's vertebrates and over 40% um, of the world's fishes. So that means for actually a very small amount of area, they contain a very high proportion of biodiversity. Um, and that makes freshwater security and biodiversity very, very important. There's been uh, this really nice study done called the Living Planet Index that's done by the um, uh, WWF, the World uh, uh, Wildlife Fund, and also the Zoological Society of London. And they've looked at um, tens of thousands of populations um, of, of uh, thousands of species from 1970 up to the present day. And they use 1970 as, as a baseline. And what they found for freshwater vertebrates is that they've declined in population by over 83%. So four-fifths of the world's freshwater vertebrates have disappeared. These are the wild vertebrates. And if we think that we're, you know, we rely on these vertebrates for, for, uh, for, 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 for food, for recreation, for ecosystem health, that is really, really damaging. And so I think in terms of, so things like um, pollution of lakes can damage freshwater security, but we can clean that up. We can clean that up through international legislation, for example, for acid rain. We can clean it up through local and regional regulation, for example, through um, farming impacts on, on lakes and rivers. But when we look to biodiversity, it's very hard to regain those populations. And if populations keep getting less and less, that means that they could go into extinction. And then when you lose a species to extinction, you're never going to get it back. And so there's been a lot of talk um, about whether the, the Earth in general is moving into a sixth mass extinction. We're going to be losing all, all, all these species. And in terms of population decline, um, and especially in fresh waters, that is not negating that hypothesis of the sixth mass extinction. So we could be moving towards this kind of like this, this sort of tipping point in the Earth. And that, in a sense, is why freshwater security uh, is extremely important, not just for you know, human health and well-being in terms of fresh water is important for biodiversity in general around the planet. Biodiversity is important for regulating carbon cycle, nitrogen cycle. So again, all these things in the planet are all interrelated and interconnected. And if you start damaging one to such an extent, then that will have impacts uh, uh, elsewhere in the world as well. So in, in, in the last 10 years, a lot of the research has been using, for example, uh, remote sensing from satellites just to actually characterize where is the water and where is it disappearing from and potentially where to. So some studies that have come out in the last couple of years have shown that there is a lot of fresh water decline, both from, um, for example, from uh, the Greenland ice sheet, the Antarctic ice sheet, and that's linked to global warming and the, that ice melting um, uh, into the oceans, um, but also a large amount of decline from, for example, uh, Northeast Asia, some parts of Central America, uh, southwestern United States, and this seems to be uh, from um, agriculture. And you've got such intense agriculture there that you're using up all the fresh water that you can see changes in the gravity of the earth from that, and that is, uh, you know, that is some of the sort of cutting edge research that sh that's showing areas of uh, real concern uh, in, in, in the last couple of years.